Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. My name is Jack the Bus. You can call me Aish. Nobody's today. We have uh, episode. I went back to Netflix. I don't know why I'm jumping. We have uh, part three, episode 11, the first homunculus. Last episode was a big one because Raven's dead. Captain Olivier. It's, do you say Olivier? Uh, I'll just call her General Armstrong. She killed Raven, realized the corruption. I mean, that was kind of the whole sting operation. Killed him. And now I like the, the fact that they have blood on their hands is pretty big because I don't know how long it's going to take word to get back. If you're a Bradley, that this happened. Or I mean, they can just honestly paint it in a way that he just disappeared because he's literally in the ground now. Um, we also had the development at the beginning of the episode, learning that, you know, Hohenheim's body is immortal. It's not like a human body and that he actually lives forever. That's why it was kind of a big deal that he looked the same, how she always mentioned that he looked the same. So I don't really know the development with that either because there's a lot that went on. He like said these names and blood came out of him. And I, I don't know. I might also have to rewatch that beginning because it was a lot to take in right away. We realized that, you know, Mustang still has um, some people that he can talk to, that he can use because we saw that old lady with the flowers transfer instrument information from armstrong when originally she said she wasn't a big fan of mustang but still i'm guessing was word that raven is dead and that she knows about everything so we're just gonna hop right into it what's going on so what's the story with these guys they showed up under the pretext of escorting ms rockbell but i'm not buying them. oh they're all they only answered at kimberly they're all with kimberly yeah he's got some kind of plan for us here what? Did those guys just nod at each other? Oh, they're trying to filter in. They're trying to filter in some baddies. We're heading to the north. We're in a hurry, okay? Yeah, and when are you guys ever not in a hurry anyway? What True. did you do to get locked up? It's only a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. I'll have them released within no time at all. Thanks a lot, Mr. Kimbley. She These doesn't know. To have you watching out for them. It's nothing. The irony? It's painful. Oh. I wouldn't trust Kimbley if I were you. What? Why not? He seems nice. Wonder he just listened to him. He's obviously it's saying that for a reason. Is it true that your parents lost their lives while giving medical attention during the war? That's right. Thought so. What a topic that of was conversation. Part of the squadron that recovered their bodies. What? We had been dispatched to help them, but it was too late by the time we got there. I'm sorry. How disgusting, dude. Thank you for trying. They stayed true to their I may have been the cause of everything, but it's okay. To the end. I respect their bravery. I wish that I could have had the chance to meet them. So fake. Look at the smile. We were holding a photo of a precious little girl when we found them, and I knew right away that it was their daughter. The thought of you kept them strong during the worst of the war. Now that just sounds fake. Why would he remember that? True heroes, and it's an honor to meet you. Do you have any idea what that psychopath did in Ishfar? can't say that much right now. What do I know? I've only got Lieutenant Hawkeye's experiences to go by. She thinks I... Speaking of Winry, you're in love with her. <laughs> also, yeah, I forgot about that. We know now that Winry is starting to fall in love with Ed. Because of the last time he left. I'm trying to think about something else. Helium, lithium, beryllium. He's thinking of elements. <laughs> Why did I have to fall in love with such a weirdo? Huh? Did you say something? No, Ed. Oh, I thought he heard. I was like, dang, that's so correct. Tell him to warn me before you connect the nerves, all right? In a funny way, they they kind of look like siblings. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's the hair, though. It's not gonna be any weaker than my last arm, will it? Not really. Just it's now he won't freeze weaker, up. But I doubt you'll notice. It's pretty heavily reinforced. It looks kind. Of, wait, does it look different? It feels like this part looks kind of different. All right. They're twinsies. What are you doing out of your cell? Maybe some people respect the fact that I'm a state alchemist. <laughs> Find me upgrading for the cold, huh? Are you upgrading too? This hair, dude. There's nothing Whoa! Left to upgrade too. Oh, they have models. They're not diamond tipped, are they? No shot. Yeah, she's fully modified. This man's especially crafted model. This man's iced out. Oh my! My style. How expensive is that? Girl, she's too cute to be hanging around you. He's my mechanic. Man's is iced out. Sheesh. That's sick though. Kill. Oh, it had the bear. It's like in reference when they said there's no bears out here. His life isn't fair. You want to come check out my work shed then? Please, please, I'd love to. I fall in love hey, with this guy. What's wrong? I like how casual this guy is. Try to keep on your toes and don't go off exploring. For some reason, your own. like the way he stands and everything reminds me of Kakashi. I think it's the hand in the pocket though. Okay, I will be. Oh, maybe the cigarette's like awesome. Right, I don't know. Let's see what you've got. If that's a cigarette. Well, this model is kind of rare. <laughs> Are you serious? 
diamond tip. I see she's got her parents' enthusiasm. Body work on this. Oh, that's what he used to have. Yeah. Your little upgrades all taken care of and out of the way. So why don't we find a place to sit down? I'm eager to discuss our business. Where's Winry gonna go? He's not gonna allow her to stay there. Oh, shot. Can you tell me why you're keeping me in the cell? Because that's where Mr. Kimberly wants you. We were given specific instructions and orders to only release the Full Metal Alchemist. Good Behave strategy, so. Kimberly. Playing it safe by keeping us separated yeah. and by dragging Winry up here. That's why I'm surprised he'd even let Winry to talk to Ed. Got some collateral. I guess I it would. Realize just how nervous we make them. It would suss her out. Gotta be patient. If he doesn't. Just wait for my chance. Out of boy, Al. Patience. The advance team took three days provisions. It's been an entire week since we last heard from them. That's cutting it close. I'm also concerned about the team sanity. An entire oh, week? week in total darkness. That's horrible. Briggsmen don't get scared. Of They're all the ones that died, right? The thing that swirled the tunnel? There's no telling what could happen to us while we're down here. Oh no, I don't we're want that guy to die. 24 hours. Seal up this hole with concrete. Sheesh. Very well, then. I'll do so. He reminds me of uh, Armstrong from Central. I, I feel like safe when he's there because he's so big. I want all of you to listen very closely. I am the only one responsible for the incident involving General Raven. You didn't see anything. You didn't hear anything. If Raven's fate is discovered, I order you to solely place the blame on me. Oh, that's the entrance. I was like, okay. Dude, what is waiting down here for them? Let's go. Oh, this guy's totally gonna die. His whole group's gonna die. And why is there a railroad? I would be less sus so? if there was no railroad Things tracks. Getting out of hand up north. They could use an offensive lead about now. You need more than defense if you plan on being the one to make the first strike. The Can they? Expertise of your eastern forces. Madame Olivier believes they have a chance. Olivier, so that is how you I'm say it. that she would choose me as her partner. How do you make the first strike when you oh, don't no. know? Madame Olivier needs enough. the strength of your army, not you. She said you might as well just get lost. That's what I thought. Yeah, she doesn't like him. It's kind of risky telling me this. What's stopping me from warning Fuhrer Bradley? Well, you are. She assured me you weren't that kind of man. That'll be thirty-five thousand cents, please. Sheesh. I appreciate it. Bills on bills. That's why she's doing it. <laughs> hey, wait. Who are you? Oh, just someone who served the Armstrong family. Oh. For generations. Aw, the, the, the hair lick. The little, what's it called? Oh, Cow yes. lick, right? What do I do? What a These freak. flowers. Oh, no, he's looking at us. Okay, this just makes it look even more sus. It's a massacre. It's this looks exactly like a the same as Smith's arm. It looks like a clean cut. Clean through. Yeah. Keep on the lookout. Might be close. But the horse's neck was just survivors. They're still alive. Oh, what have these dudes seen? Are you all right? Speak to me. Why would here. Why would whatever it is leave them alive if they could they talk about it? Okay. Is there anyone else? What happened? The others were. They were all run. It's literally just base. We have to get out of here. It's coming back. What is? Please, you gotta get rid of the light, the shadow. Hey, you're all right now. Oh. Come on, pull yourself together. Oh no. Can you walk. Let's go. It stopped. Help them walk as much as you can. God, dude, his cries sorry, about the shadows are so I have some creepy. Documents the Fuhrer needs to read right away. Oh my gosh. My husband isn't home right now. It'd be wonderful. Does he control those? Tomorrow. That is urgent. But don't you worry. I'll make sure that he does. Well, thank you. Because I, I feel like. Salim, shouldn't you be in bed? Ugh. It was, but then I heard the door. I thought that it might be father coming home. This is your father's assistant, Lieutenant Hawkeye. It's very nice to meet you, Lieutenant Hawkeye. It's nice to meet you. Why did it do you that? Must be working hard to be up so late. I just had to bring your father some documents. Not really. Your I dad's just the worst. Now. Sorry, I woke you. Good night, Celine. You need your proper rest. Otherwise, you might oversleep. I know. Good manners. He seems like a really sharp kid. He's the pride of my life. I know it's impolite to brag about my son, but that shouldn't apply since he's adopted. I really shouldn't act so surprised, though. Oh, yeah. He is related to my husband, so he must have some of his genes. He... he's not related to you? Oh, no. <sighs> Wait, I thought he was... I thought he was a her son, and he was adopted from Bradley. Add. The colonel told me that King Bradley was raised as a test subject. He doesn't have any family. Yeah. He didn't even know his parents. And I got that strange feeling from Salim. Could he be 
So, put it all together. Oh my god, no way! All thanks to my stepmother. She just doesn't know how to shut up. Wait! Your baleful presence also gave you away. Oh my god, she I said- I recognized it somehow, but I'm just now realizing why. It's the same bloodlust I felt when Gluttony tried to attack me from behind. She said he's the pride of my- name, Bradley. What exactly is your <laughs> No way! No way! She just saved all of them. He stretches those shadows that far? I'm guessing you're a homunculus like Gluttony. You've got some kind of pressure coming from you that he didn't have. How far can those shadows go? You would even put Gluttony and me in the same league. You ask my name? It's pride, and I was the first homunculus. Full Metal Alchemist. You said you were the first homunculus, <laughs> correct? What do you mean by that? Oh Just my god. Me. Are you actually trying to get information? I would go, I need to go watch the episode back again. Where Ed and Al meet him. I feel like they foreshadowed so much. I'd just be a pawn to you. So that's a no, that's too bad. That's how sharp. Oh my. Are you trying to humor me just like that. Threats. It's just wasteful to kill your hostage. <laughs> how perceptive you are. Just remember, Lieutenant. No matter where you are, I will be watching you. From the shadows. From the shadows. That's how. The fact that he can't, like, dude, he stretched that far north into that tunnel. That's why. No, why would they have the tunnels, though? Because there's no lights through the most of it, unless there's someone in there with a light. You got a job for me? That's correct. Oh my god. Alchemist after all. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why it's is it? Jobs, actually. Three. Oh. All from the Fuhrer. Oh my gosh. First off, he wants you to hunt down Scar. Just find him. I'll take care of the rest. Secondly, he wants you to locate Dr. Marco, who is very likely fled with Scar. Yeah, that's a two for one. Scar. And last but not least, he wants you to carve a crest of blood here. Just like what I did in Ishval. It's very simple. We kill everyone and soak the land with their blood. I would never take part in... God, him doing this is just so intimidating. Did you really join the military without being prepared to kill someone? Dude, I can't... I I, I'm still kill. on the uh, Salim uh, being original of you. the last well, sin. I suppose you could take just as much from that decision. <laughs> Listen, Kimberly, do you wow. have any idea what they're doing? What you're helping them <laughs> to achieve? They're I'm gonna... curious to see how the world will change. Oh my god. Humans are the homunculi. Which one will triumph? The homunculi like to see themselves as the next step in the evolution of humanity i just plan on helping it make up its mind have you forgotten that you're a human how can you take sides with them because they've given me complete freedom to use my alchemy however i want you're insane kimberly my standards do tend to differ from societies however if i survive this battle then the world will have chosen my sanity over yours the very core of my own existence this is what i'm willing to bet on the outcome of this battle i'm really really ready for the inevitable fight between these two i think the that I'd always Ed would be the one to sh that self have a showdown with Kimberly. Trait of all alchemists. <laughs> not, not, uh, well, not Ed. Let's see if I can find something that you do selfishly crave. Something you and your brother want more than anything. No way. If you do what we ask, I'll give it to you. <laughs> a philosopher's stone. But he knows they're just using them, and th this isn't the way to do it. Need to consult with Al and Winry. Why tell Winry? She has no idea she's involved. Refuse to hide the truth from her. All right, then. But you're not telling her without me there. I don't want you telling her too much. Yeah. Oh, I hate that sound. Winry, you were only brought to Briggs as a hostage. A what? Are you joking? Listen, Why would he joke about that? I've been ordered by the Fuhrer to fulfill my duties as a human weapon. They're ordering me to help them commit mass murder. Uh, why don't you just refuse? Well, they're killing you first That's off. Why. Sorry. They're using me to hold you down. I'm just upset at myself for being so naive. I'm sorry. All you were trying to do is get your original bodies back again. They actually offered me a philosopher's stone as payment. We can't, brother. The ingredients for a stone. I know, Al. Go ahead and do what you want. I will. They made eye contact as if like um, the other knows what each like each is thinking. Settled. I'm in. All right. But finding Scar is the first thing I want to do. He needs to oh, find yeah. Scar first as an excuse to not murder Scar everyone is the first. One who murdered Winry's parents. They deserve vengeance. They need time. 
to I figure this out. With me. Also, I need Al with me. He doesn't have a body, so he's immune to Scar's bodily destruction. That is helpful. You're okay with this, Al? Wow, I'm surprised Kimberly's allowing this. A loss of her stone? It can only be made by sacrificing human lives. But they still has Winry. Man, this show, like, don't whatever. Worry. Brother would never actually use one. And we don't need it. We think we might be able to use Shingy's Alka history to get our bodies back. When There's I... a girl that's been working with Scar. We think that she can teach it to us. Is he going after Scar to find this girl? Hmm. I think so. I see. Then I guess I had better hurry up and come up with a believable excuse. Huh? The what? excuse to what this show like whenever it has tense moments usually it's like got comedic relief whenever it's just tense it's it's just so like the general vicinity in which Scar like was last just grabs you that's our first stop hey make room for one more <laughs> Come on, Al, is he actually gonna stop. let her go i'm sorry winry but you need to wait here at the fort we're not going for a picnic and neither am i i just performed a complicated upgrade on his auto mail that i've never done before what if there's a malfunction it would tarnish the rock bell name if i'm not there to fix it oh you didn't realize how obsessed with your job you are you're a workaholic and proud of it too uh, this has been my family's business very for well then generations. you can join us let's go winry let's go there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> the, 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 like ease up oh my gosh Oh man. Could turn out really badly. Yeah. As soon as still, I can't just sit around waiting anymore. As soon as Ed does one thing wrong, he will kill Winry without hesitation. Oh my gosh. The past like couple episodes have been crazy in terms of like everything developing with the last two sins being revealed, especially one of them being Salim, which I'm wondering now his relationship with Bradley. Not how, how much, because I'm not 100% like, sure Bradley knows that Salim is one, is the last one, is the, well, because he's, since he's the very first one. But like, does Salim captain him, like order him around? Because from what we've seen, he seems to be the most powerful one yet especially since salim was humored that hawkeye even placed him in the same league as um as gluttony and the fact that he can stretch that far north and kill people with that much ease and i like how hawkeye walking into their house interrupted that he was like oh shoot and had to like stop for a second like the fact that he has that far of reach that's why they always have information that's why they always know what's going on because he can just have his shadows wherever he wants and he can just have his power wherever he wants so what is his power in relation to the fathers the father is the big thing in all of this if it were just the sins that'd be one thing and it was just like them trying to take over the world and have like the homunculi be like the next race or generation. But the father and Hohenheim's relationship and why they look the exact same and why Hohenheim is immortal is just like what those are wrenching everything in terms of my confusion and what's going to happen next. Guys, this has been an insane episode. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, base.